Hey guys, it's Alex and I'm here with a very special Christmas book haul. I got a lot of books for Christmas, a fair number of books, and most of them were from myself to myself, but I also got books sent to me from other booktubers and that's really fun and exciting. So I wanted to like go through and open all my books mail because I haven't opened it yet. It's now Christmas and I really haven't gone through any of this yet. So apart from, you know, the two giant packages on the bottom that I bought myself, I don't know what's in here and I'm very excited to find out. I have opened all the packages, but I haven't looked in them yet just for like ease of doing this video. I didn't feel like trying to sit here and open every single package as I got it because that's annoying. And also I'm wearing this lovely choker that my friend got me that really doesn't go with the sweatshirt at all, but it's super cute and it's new, so I'm wearing it. A couple of these came from my Amazon wish list, which I posted on my Twitter a while ago, and it's also linked in the description, and always will be linked in the description, in case you ever feel like buying me anything, because I am a broke child who loves books. Although, I'm 25. I'm a 25-year-old broke child who loves books. So, I mean, I'm just, at this point, I'm just leaving it there in case anyone's ever like, hey, I want to buy Alex a book, and like, like I would ever stop anyone from buying me a book. So I have two packages from that, and I'm going to go through those first. Um, and try not to show my address on any of these, because that would be bad. Um, not that. That would be the receipt. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. Thank you for always being so supportive. Bailey's Book Babble. Aw, thank you so much, Bailey. This is Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson, which... I read Written on the Body by Jeanette Wenderson a couple years ago, and it's so beautiful. It's like one of the most beautifully written books I've ever read, and I haven't read anything else by her yet, and I keep meaning to. It's just, I don't, I haven't, so I'm so excited to get this and read this, and I'm going to read this soon in like 2019, because she's like one of my favorite authors, but I've only read one of her books, and this is her memoir? Or fiction? I don't know. Fiction. Oh, this is our debut novel. I didn't know that, but like, I'm really excited to read this, and oh, I love her so much. So thank you so much, Bailey. They go behind me. And the second book that I got, also not showing my address. Hi Alex, as promised, thanks for picking out a great username. Merry Christmas from Grace. Thank you Grace. This is, oh my gosh, this is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I have two of Nina LaCour's books and I love them both. I have We Are Okay, which was, I read like last year and it's so beautiful and I have no idea what this book is about, but she's one of my favorites. Like, she's genuinely one of my favorite authors, and I love her writing, and, oh, thank you so much, Grace. This is the sweetest thing, and I'm so excited to have this book and read this book, because I feel like I'm going to absolutely adore this, because it's new liqueur. I also had a third person who ordered something from my wish list. I think it showed up online as three things were purchased from my wish list, but I only got two, so I don't really know if you... Or someone who ordered me something else and it never, it wasn't in this haul, like, hit me up. I don't know what happened. It never arrived. Like, I'm, like, 99% sure that there was a third thing. But I don't really know how Amazon wishlists work, so, like, maybe I'm just crazy. But, yeah, like, I don't know. The third thing I got is from Book Depository. I did a book exchange or not in exchange, but Abby from Autumn of Palinar and I decided to send each other Christmas gifts. So yeah, she sent me a book and I sent her a book and I don't know what this is. I have no idea. The other two came from my wish list, so I already knew they were things that like I actively wanted. I don't know what this is. Um pretty book depository bookmark, which is different from the ones I got before, which is always lovely. And it's Battle Magic by Tamara Pierce. I love this book. Actually, I don't remember this book. I read it a few years ago. Like, I binge read it at the library, but because I didn't have a card at the time. So I just went and, like, sat there and read it. 
but I love Tamara Pierce. Her shelf is like right up out of view right here, but I have almost an entire shelf just dedicated to her books and I don't have this one yet and I've never reread it and oh, I'm going to reread this this year at some point. I'm so excited to add to my Tamara Pierce collection. Thank you so much, Abby. You're so sweet. I'm so excited to read this. I still have my two packages that I ordered myself and I'm excited to get into, but I kind of feel like I should go through the books that my friends and family got me first because that's probably more exciting than I bought myself a thing. Not that y'all care, but I feel like I should go through those first. So first, my lovely best friend who got me this beautiful choker also got me Without You by Anthony Rapp, which I'm so excited for. I've wanted to read this for ages, but I don't have a copy and my library doesn't have a copy and I couldn't find one like used anywhere for a decent price, so I'm thrilled to have this. She loves Brent as much as I do, although I think I love Anthony Rapp more than her just because my love for Anthony Rapp runs very, very deep and I'm so excited to read this because I love him and I just like spend all this time in front of my computer watching YouTube videos of him singing forever because he's amazing and wonderful and I hope he's an amazing writer too because I'm so excited. Like anything about Rent, I just love. I know there are some very valid critiques of Rent, but I really don't care. I love it. And my boyfriend got me a book that goes with the books that I ordered for myself because I told him what to get me and he's lovely so he got it. And that is The President's Daughter by Ellen Emerson White. This is like my favorite series of all time. I love these books. I only have the fourth one, so that's the only one I've been able to reread. And he got me the first one. My library doesn't have these, so like I can't reread them. And I'm so excited to have this. He's so lovely. He knows exactly what to do. He takes instructions very well, which not everyone does. So I adore him for this. I gave my father my wish list as well. And he did slightly less well because I gave him the whole wish list and was like, order me several books. And he got me Convenience Store Woman, which I love and I'm so excited he got me this because I literally still have my copy from the library that I checked out in September. It's still on my shelf. I still haven't reviewed it yet, but I'm going to review this soon. But I'm so excited. This was one of my favorite books of the year and I love having my own copy. So now whenever I talk about it, I can hold this up instead of having to find a cover online. And I can reread it because I really want to reread this sometime because I I read this back in October and loved it so so much and it's such like a quick short read and oh, I love this I'm so excited to have this but this was the only book my parents got me which considering they had an entire Amazon wish list with like 20 books on it you could have done better parents can you give me like 10 minutes So we are interrupted. Apologies for the brief interruption. Obligatory family photo time. But I got one more book from my family and that was from my sister, which I wasn't expecting. She doesn't usually get me books just cause like, she's one of those people who's given up kind of. But she got me, how do I, Southern Nightmare, The Hunt for the Southside Strangler by Richard Foster, which is a true crime book about a serial killer rapist who was, active in Richmond, Virginia, which is where I live. So interesting. I get to read a book about a serial killer from where I live, which was like, this was like 30 years ago, or it says, it says 30 years ago, but I don't know when this was published. And I don't know if this is like an indie book or anything. So very interesting. And it's very interesting that like, whenever the Stranglers have a name, it's like, this is like the Southside Strangler. I actually know where Southside is for once, which is very nice. Because that's very uncommon for me. Normally with the names that have like something specific about the location, I really don't know. <laughs> so, really looking forward to this. It's not exactly like a lot of the true crime that I read, but it's fr about where I'm from, so I'm down. The last two packages I got from Thrift Books, I bought myself five books because I was talking to my favorite author online and was like, I, I need to buy more of your books, so I did. Um, I got them all from thrift books because I don't think any of these are currently like in publication like I can't buy new physical copies of them I don't think I can buy Kindle copies but I couldn't find any new copies anywhere and I did look so I'll just talk about them extra on my channel to like make up for the fact that I bought them used the first package I'm very excited about I do know it's in here because I ordered them myself but I got White House Autumn 
and Long Live the Queen, which are books two and three in the President's Daughter series. So now I have all four books and I can reread the series and I'm trying really hard not to reread them right now. I'd really like to host a read-along for these at some point this year, maybe, but they're not super available books. Like you'd probably have to buy them and you'd probably have to buy them used and I really don't know how easy that is or how many people would want to, so that may or may not happen, but I'm definitely going to reread these books at some point very, very soon because I love them and I haven't reread them. I've never reread them apart from the fourth one because I didn't own them and my library doesn't have them, so so excited for these. I do a very good job buying myself Christmas presents. And the final package, also from myself, same general principle, my favorite author. I bought myself, oops, dropping them, Friends for Life and Life Without Friends, which is a duology about Susan. This one's about Susan. This one's about a character I don't know, but Susan was a character in The President's Daughter, and I found out Susan had her own book, and I was like, what? Why haven't I not read these? I want to read these. And I wanted to read them forever, but again, like, my library has almost none of her books. Well, they have a couple, but they have, like, some of the more middle gradey ones and not these and these are like 80s books like you can I think you can tell from the cover these are 80s books but I'm so excited to read these because I've wanted to forever and honestly they just look like pretty short quick reads and I love her writing so I'm very happy and just I love the detail she's wearing a Boston cap can you see that I don't know if y'all if it'll focus on that, but she's wearing a Boston Red Sox cap, and Ellen Emerson White is like the biggest Red Sox fan ever, and literally in all of her books, her characters are all Sox fans. Which like, I'm not a Sox fan. My people are Cardinals people, but you're not a Yankees fan, so I can live with you. Very excited. And the final book, I know what it is, unless they screw it up. But I don't understand why it's so big. It's this big, thick hardback, and I wasn't expecting... There we go. The Road Home. So they didn't screw it up. I wasn't expecting this to be this big. Like, this is a chunky book. I was expecting this to be, you know, this, basically. Like, a nice little thin paperback. I clearly don't know anything about her books. Or... Yeah, I didn't know what I was ordering. She just, she said in the conversation with me, she was like, oh, The Road Home is my favorite book that I've written. Have you read it? And I was like, shook to my core that I had to say no to my favorite author in that situation. So I bought this book. And apparently this is the fifth in the Echo Company series, which I didn't know. And I can't find the Echo Company series online. I can find the first two, but not books three and four. And this works as a standalone, but it does bug me to read it later, so... I'll probably still read this as a standalone and then, like, read the Echo Company series later, but, you know. Oh, well. I'm very excited. She said this was her favorite, and I'm like, I've loved everything else I've read of yours. So, very curious. Very, very curious. All in all, super excited for this haul. I don't think that'll go on top. No. I have too many books. Oops. I have too many books for them to all be in one stack. I think I have 12. I got 12 books for Christmas, which is largely due to my beloved booktube friends. Well, and me buying myself books because I have a problem. But I'm so excited and I know I have more books coming because I know of two people who are sending me more books and I'm very excited for that. And thank you to all you lovely people who sent me books and thank you to all you lovely people who watch and comment on my videos. Even if you didn't send me books, you don't have to. That doesn't make me love you any less. I'm just so happy and so grateful for this channel and for all of you guys and for all the books that I have now that I didn't have before. <laughs> I just, it's Christmas. I'm full of good cheer and happiness and I hope you guys are too. I hope you had a lovely holiday and I hope you got as many books as you wanted. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.